Well, in your health watch this morning, first, it was a rapid spread of COVID-19, a mysterious virus that caught everyone worldwide off guard. Then the quarantine hit. That's when the stay at home orders were put in place. Many were stuck inside, unable to go to work or see family or friends. That led to massive layoffs and furloughs and millions of people filing for unemployment. Now, more recently, tensions have escalated as protests have taken to the streets, demanding an end to racial injustice and police brutality. These are, as you might imagine, and as you probably know, stressful times. So the big question out there, how do you cope? Well, we are talking with Duke University psychiatrist, Dr. Prakash Masan this morning. We thank you very much for taking the time. And these are stressful times from one to the next to the next. It seems to be piling on. And I don't know too many people who aren't stressed out right now. How do we cope, doctor? Absolutely. Uh, we all have difficulty coping with these times. Uh, all of us will experience some degree of stress, anxiety, depression on a daily basis. And there are a few things that we can do to cope with it and not let it overwhelm us. So the first thing is limit your exposure to the negativity, whether it's the pandemic, whether it's the riots, limit your exposure to news about these negative events, establish connections, you know, uh, connect with your friends, your family, your classmates in school and college, you know, do a Zoom call, a FaceTime, a Skype, that will markedly improve your mental health and have a good attitude. Think positive. This is going to come to an end. Uh, this negativity will eventually come to an end. So have the right attitude. So there are a few things that you can do to make yourself feel better. Doctor, is it important to kind of break them apart, not allow them to uh, be all added together like the world is falling on you instead of thinking through everything differently? Absolutely. We should compartmentalize our stressors because otherwise they seem very cumulative and overwhelming. That's why compartmentalize it. You know, reach out and help someone. You know, one of the things we found is that if you help an elderly person, maybe shop for them, maybe make a contribution to your favorite charity, help out at a food bank, that has a great antidepressant and anti-anxiety effect. What's your advice for parents where, you know, they are dealing with all these stressors and then they have the stress taken on from their children and, uh, you know, the, the children, uh, they're teaching, they're, uh, you know, shopping, they're working, they're doing so many things. What's your advice for parents? Oh, it's so tough being a parent. You're homeschooling your kids. You're doing your own job. Uh, you're cooking, you're cleaning, you're probably preparing more meals than you ordinarily would have because of fears of ordering in or doing takeout. It's really, really tough. So take time for yourself. Set aside some time, exercise, 30 minutes of exercise, yoga, meditation, a walk in the park, you know, going and sitting by the lakefront, obviously with social distancing and with a mask can be tremendously, tremendously uh, effective against depression and anxiety. Exercise, as I say, is the cheapest antidepressant and anxiolytic. It's free. Uh, I like that. <laughs> free, and you can do it from everywhere, as uh, we just learned during this pandemic. So we thank you very much for inside, and most importantly, just take a deep breath and try to relax, right? Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, doctor. Self-care, right, Javi?